February 21, Friday, the memorial of St. Peter Damien, Bishop and Doctor. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, and that of the gospel, will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one give in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me, of my words, in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of God will be ashamed when he comes in his Father's glory, with the holy angels. He also said to them, Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come in power. The Gospel of the Lord Take up His Cross The cross consisted of an upright beam and a cross bar fastened horizontally to the upright beam. At times, the upright beam was left at the place of execution as a permanent warning to criminals or rebels. The horizontal beam was fastened to the upright beam or carried to the site by the condemned man. It is debated whether Jesus carried the whole cross or only the horizontal beam to Golgotha. In demanding that his followers take up the cross and follow him, Jesus is asking them to live in total abandonment to God's will. The image appears horrifying, especially to the Jews, who regard the cross as a sign of disgrace, a mark of divine curse. But even taken as a metaphor, this should not be taken lightly. Henrich Roth writes, the fact that Jesus willed to save us through his cross should change the mind of every man who thinks it possible to love upon the earth without suffering.